Today on our 2011 GMC Acadia, we will be test fitting the Kurt cargo carrier. That's part number C18145. Uh, its dimensions are 17 by 46. It has a max capacity of 500 pounds, and it can be used for either inch and a quarter or two inch hitches. So we've got this little adapter here. We've got a two inch hitch here today, so we can go ahead and begin by inserting our shank into our receiver. And we'll line our pinholes up. All right, that looks pretty good. And we'll take our included anti-rattle bolt. Go ahead and thread that through. And we'll use our socket wrench to tighten that the rest of the way down. And by tightening this, it's going to help reduce the play and the rattle within our hitch and our carrier, as you can see there. We'll put our clip in, and then we'll take a few measurements. Starting with our nearest point, you can see it's right here, about an inch and a quarter away from our bumper. Overall, we've added about 20 and a half inches to our vehicle. For our ground clearance, we're looking at about 15 and a half inches right there. All right, I'll go ahead and open up our rear hatch and we'll check our breakover point. And that looks like it's going to be right at 13 inches before our rear hatch breaks over our carrier. Just want to be aware of that when we're stacking any materials that high. All right, one last thing I'd like to point out is that you can see our exhaust exits on our driver's side and passenger side. And that's right about seven and a half inches away from our carrier. Just want to be aware of that when we're carrying any heat sensitive materials. That's going to complete our test fit of the Kurt cargo carrier, part number C18145 on our 2011 GMC Acadia. Let's see how that carrier did on our test course. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.